In September of 2020, NVIDIA released the RTX 2080 GPU as a part of their GeForce 20 lineup. In terms of performance, it was second only to the 2080 Ti, among the available GPUs at the time. After the launch of the 30 series cards and upcoming 40 series cards, things have changed a bit. Considering that every single card in the 30 series lineup and the soon to be 40 series lineup offers a higher level performance, is it even worth it to purchase a 2080 in 2022? Let's get into it. Specs and Features the RTX 2080 is superior to other GPUs from the 20 series lineup in every manner, including the number of CUDA cores, the speed of its GDDR6 visual memory, and even the fact that it is featured its very first factory overclock of 90 MHz on Nvidia's Founder Edition GPUs. In addition, the Nvidia GeForce RTX 2080 is equipped with 46 RT cores and 468 Tensor cores, both of which contribute to the rendering of real-time ray tracing and artificial intelligence powered computations. Respectively, both features of the GPU stand out. As of right now, with the DLSS 2.0 update having been released, the system is now extremely capable of handling 4K scenarios as well. Initially attempting to render at 4K native resolution with the RTX enabled would produce unusable frames. However, at the moment you are able to activate RTX, which is then accompanied by DLSS upscaling, and that means the problem of 4K has been resolved. It has a total power consumption of 215 watts and is equipped with 2,944 shading units. The retail price of the 2080 was set at $699 when it was first introduced, however since the GeForce 30 series was introduced, it has dropped. In spite of the fact that it uses PCIe 3.0 interface that is a little bit on the dated side, it has an overall bandwidth of 448 gigs and an 8 gigabyte of GDDR6 memory. The frequency of the clock can run anywhere between 1515 to 1710 megahertz. Furthermore, the memory operates at 14 gigabytes per second. Nvidia recommends a power supply unit of at least 550 watts in order to power this big card. Gaming performance. TechSpot evaluated the performance of the RTX 2080 and some other GPUs in a total of 12 different games. They used the Core i7-8700K, processor operating at 5GHz and 32GB of Vengeance DDDR4-3400 memory for the test. Let's see the results. Battlefield 1 Beginning with the results of Battlefield 1 at 1440p, the RTX 2080 delivered performance comparable to that of the GTX 1080 Ti. Initially, we thought the 1080 would be slower than the 1080 Ti, which would place it in the middle of the 1080 and the 1080 Ti. But to our surprise, it's even better than that, as evidenced by the fact that it delivers 27% more performance compared to the average frame rate and 23% more performance compared to the frame time result. The 2080 Ti is an absolute monster in this regard easily outperforming the 2080 and the 1080 by a margin of over 25%. Pretty incredible stuff, but let's move on to 4K. Compared to AMD's Radeon RX Vega 64 Liquid, the GeForce GTX 1660 gave a playable performance in this instance, generating 24% more frames on average than the GTX 1080 Ti. Far Cry 5 for 1440p, the RTX 2080 matches the performance of the GTX 1080 Ti with an average of 112 frames per second. This places it 27% ahead of the GTX 1080 in terms of speed. As for the 2080 Ti that pushed an average frame rate of 132 frames per second, they were clearly running into a system bottleneck here as the frame time performance is similar to that of the 1080 Ti. The transition to 4K eliminates the bottleneck in the system, which explains why the 2080 Ti is now 28% quicker than the 1080 Ti on average and 25% faster when it comes to the frame time result. Additionally, the 2080 is 30% quicker than the GTX 1080. Having said that, although 2080 does have an average frame rate of 61 frames per second at 4K, you will see clips below that. Although it is still extremely playable, the 2080 Ti offers an experience that is really astonishing due to its silky smooth gameplay. Arma 3. Next up we have Arma 3. At 1440p, TechSpot noticed that there was some kind of slowdown in the system or perhaps even a restriction of the game itself. The GPU is most definitely not a limiting factor, therefore they had to switch to 4K to evaluate the RTX GPU's capabilities in that resolution. When we compare the performance of the 2080 Ti at 4K to its performance at 1440p, we find a decline in the 2080 Ti's overall performance. Because of this, it is now around 11% quicker than the 1080 Ti in the meantime, the RTX 2080 is 27% quicker than the GeForce GTX 1080, which is a pretty significant difference in and of itself. Grand Theft Auto 5. Moving on, we have some interesting results for GTA 5 in 1440p. This is an ancient title, but it is still very popular, and a lot of guys seem to still play this game. Here are the results. Please be aware 
that all of the game settings, including the more advanced graphic ones, have been raised to their maximum levels. Despite this, they were experiencing a rather strong system bottleneck at 1440p, so these results are somewhat worthless. However, that reveals that the RTX 2080 will not deliver a good performance if you are a huge fan of GTA 5 and exclusively play at 1440p. At 4K, the 2080 Ti performed 37% quicker than the 1080 Ti in this test, which is pretty nice gain over the previous generation. It is also clear that the 2080 roughly matched the performance of the 1080 Ti, which put it in position of dominance over the standard 1080. In fact, it was about 50% quicker, which is an outstanding performance here pros and cons of purchasing the RTX 2080 in 2022. The significant benefit of the RTX 2080 in 2022 is its affordable price and the widespread availability. It provides a satisfying gaming experience for players playing at 1440p, and those playing at 4K and DLSS is going to get better over time. The actual drawback is the subpar performance at 4K, although DLSS makes up for it very nicely. Alternatives to the RTX 2080 The Radeon 7 from AMD the RTX 20A Super, and the most recent iterations of the 3060 Ti and the 3070 cards are some of the alternatives to the RTX 2080. However, considering that the Radeon 7 is already a step behind even in 1080p and 1440p resolutions and does not have the power to render DLSS equivalents, the RTX 2080 Super would be a better choice as an alternative. Simply put it, it's a higher bin version of the 2080 sample. It is rather difficult to suggest an option for the RTX 2080 that offers a similar level of value for the same amount of money because the TI model is a significantly higher price tag and the 30 series graphics cards are nowhere near the MSRP of the 2080. Is it still worth buying an RTX 2080 in 2022? The RTX 2080 is well worth the money in 2022 because it is unrivaled in the 1080p gaming space, offers breathtaking visuals because of its real-time ray tracing functionality, and outperforms the competition. The real-time light particle simulation creates an accurate map of the game's environments and meticulously calculates how each of the ray light interacts with each individual object. Because of this, shadows, reflections, and the overall dynamics of the game are brought closer to how they would appear in real life. When it comes to destroying the 1440p range, the RTX 2080 is superb all-rounder and provides a really buttery smooth experience in 4K resolution. When the RTX is enabled, the visuals are brought to their most beautiful possible state. There you have it, the 2080 in 2022. This is by far one of the best budget GPUs out there. It's very cheap and can run greatly at 1080p and 1440p and can still manage 4K as long as you have the right settings turned on. But if you're looking for a more powerful GPU, perhaps one from the new 40 series lineup, we have a video on the RTX 4090. Go check that out. If you liked today's video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below any other videos we should cover or topics that we should cover. If you did not like today's video, please dislike and leave a comment down below on how we can do better and be more accurate about our information. Thank you so much for watching today's video and have a wonderful day.